All right, in this video, I'm gonna give you everything you need to know about Google Ads search terms. So I'm gonna go over what the search terms are, where to find them, how to filter them, what you need to do with them, and how to do so to optimize your account so that you're not wasting your ad budget on keywords that have nothing to do with what you're offering. So the first thing we're gonna go into is what are the search terms? So when you add keywords to Google, you're telling Google ads that you want them to show your ads for these particular keywords. Now what Google's gonna do is it's gonna show your ad for anything the person searches that relates to the keywords that you put in. And if you set it to let's say broad match, that net that it's gonna cost is gonna be wider. If you set it to phrase match, it's gonna be narrower. And if you set it to exact match, in theory, it should be exactly the keyword you typed in. Though in reality, that's not what actually happens. Now, what the search term is, is the actual words that people typed into Google to find your ad. So that's not exactly the same as the keyword because the keyword is what you set the words that you wanted to match, but the search term are the words that they actually set and they're not always the same thing. So let me show you what I mean. So here's the list of keywords in an ad account. And you can see here that these are the keywords that we have added that we want the ad to show for. Now, if we go into search terms, and by the way, this is where you find the search terms, you go under insights and reports, and then you can see search terms. It used to be under the keyword section, but they recently moved it. So this is where it is now. What you can see here is that you're gonna find a lot of different variations of words that are similar to the keywords you typed in, but a lot of them are not gonna be exactly the same. Some of them are gonna have other words you didn't include in your keywords. Some of them are gonna be longer sentences and so on. And so what basically happens here is you can see exactly what people have typed in, which allows you to see if your ads are showing for the wrong keywords that have nothing to do with what you offer. Oftentimes you will find that there are a lot of similar words. However, they might be completely different things and therefore you don't want your ad to show for those. So what you would do is you would go down this list and you would see what the ad's actually showing for and this allows you to filter through your keywords and only keep the ones that are actually relevant. So now, in order to actually analyze and filter the search terms, what you do is you open this, you obviously set it to the appropriate date range that you wanna filter. So I recommend doing this you know, fairly often every couple of weeks, once a month if you're not spending that much money and go through the list and take a look for any keywords that you can find that are not necessarily related to what you do. So if we go down this list here, this is a pre-purchased car inspection business. If we take a look and see on this list here, we can maybe find keywords that might not necessarily relate to what they're offering. So like, let's say for instance, you've got cheapest pre-purchase car inspection. Well, maybe these guys don't want the people who are after the cheap ones. Maybe they offer a premium service. It's priced a bit higher. So what you could do is you could take that and you could exclude this keyword. Or for instance, how long does a pre-purchase car inspection take? This is probably something that's not very likely to result in an actual purchase from someone. So it's not a high buying intent keyword. So you could probably exclude that one as well. And you would go down this list and find out all of the keywords that are not necessarily related to what you're offering. Now, what I would also recommend you do is, as well as going down this list, I would actually open up a notepad and I would bring the notepad in and just write down a list of all of the ones that are not. So for instance, this one we had cheap. So we'll just write down cheap. We also had how long. We could include that as a phrase. And you can go down the list here and just find anything else. Like let's say for instance, that let's say the word free, we wanna exclude the word free. So you can add that as well, free. So that I'm just giving you an example. Now, another way you would wanna obviously analyze these search terms is that you wanna take a look here under the clicks, the impressions, the click-through rate, and the cost for each of these. Because what you'll find is the majority of them will probably be where your conversions come from, and a lot of them will not be. So for instance, if we do conversions and sort by this, you're gonna find that like, probably there's gonna be five, yeah. Five keywords that all the conversions come from, and then the rest are just nothing. And so if you find a lot of keywords like this, for instance, which is very interesting, that gets a lot of impressions and a fairly decent amount of clicks, but it's actually had no conversions, then perhaps you might wanna do something about this, either exclude the keyword or update your ads to target this keyword if this is a main keyword you wanna target and things like that. So that's why this report is good. Now, obviously you can see here as well, which ones they came from. Now, I wanna make a point as well. This is not gonna show you every single search term that people have typed in. If you see here, what you're gonna find is you're gonna see a total and then you're gonna to see total other 
where most of the conversions came from and then total for the account. Now, the reason this happens, Google made an update a while back for privacy reasons that they exclude a lot of the terms that people type in. So unfortunately, there's not much you can do to find this data. Google just doesn't give it to you. So unfortunately, this is where most of your you know, missing search terms are gonna be. But unfortunately, there's not much you can do about it. You can only work with the ones you've got here. But between this and the keywords that you usually gives you enough data to at least filter through all this and find out keywords that you might not want in here so then you can get rid of them. So now let's say for instance, you're going down this list and you find a bunch that you don't want to include. Like let's say for instance, cheapest and how long, let's say for instance, I'll throw those in. Now what you would do to add these as negatives is you would tick them off in the checklist like this I just showed here and you could click add as negative keyword. You could also add them as a keyword if you want to but the thing in my experience is if they're already showing up, then your keywords are already bringing these in anyway. So there's not really any need to add them as a keyword since clearly they're already showing up. But it doesn't hurt if they're like a good keyword that you're getting a lot of conversions through. You might wanna add that just for the sake of adding it, but it, it really won't make much of a difference. But to add it as a negative keyword, you can either tick those or you can copy and paste it and then add it to the notepad and then you could just paste that in the negative list. But if you're gonna do it this way, you would tick them, you'd click add as negative keyword and now here is how you can add it. You can either select the ad group, the campaign, or, or the list, the whole negative keyword list, and you can add the specific keyword. Now, if you want to make these phrase match, right now this is gonna be exact match, because obviously if you included this as broad match, it would remove all of the keywords that you actually want. If you wanna set this as phrase match, all you need to do is remove these brackets and replace them with the speech marks. So you can see here if I did that, and remove the bracket. Now this would be phrase match. And I'm gonna show you an example of this because I'm gonna hit save now. You can see one's exact, one's phrase. When I hit save, you're gonna see in the negatives, we're gonna have that keyword as a negative keyword. So if we go into the keywords, the negative keywords, you're gonna see the two I just added and you're gonna see that one's phrase match and one's exact. So if we go into the negative keywords, you can see the pre-purchase car inspection, it's phrase match. And if we take a look at how long does a pre-purchase inspection take? It's exact match. So that's how you add those search terms to the negative keywords list straight from the search terms report. Now, one other point I wanna make is, do you need to go through and add every single one of these to the keywords lists? So with the negative keywords, you don't necessarily, but I recommend you do add them as exact match and then you do what I showed here. You take this list that you made the words, the keywords of that you don't want and you add those. Now I wanna make a quick point that with these, why I only wrote just cheap or just how long or just free is because I'm gonna add these as phrase match. So any keyword that has this phrase in it, the word free or the word how long, I'm not gonna do cheap, I'm gonna remove that one because I don't actually wanna add that to this in this case. But for how long and for free, now what's gonna happen is any other keyword that you add that contains the words how long is also gonna be excluded. And so what's good about that is you don't have to add every single variation possible that could possibly come up with as an exact match. You can just add this as a phrase to the negative keyword list and then it'll get rid of them as a blanket coverage. And so the more of these you add, the sooner you're gonna find that all these random keywords that have nothing to do with what you're offering stop popping up. So if you actually take a look at this, this is over like the last three or six months, June, since June to October, and there's barely any incorrect keywords in here at all. And that's because I've been running this account for like two years and been adding these words to the negatives. And if we go to the negative keyword list, you'll see what I mean. As you see, you can see here, I've added a whole bunch of different negative keywords. And so what's happened is that it's excluding a lot of these things. So now I'm gonna add the two we just saw, which is how long and free. I'm gonna hit save and now that's gonna remove the possibility of that coming in anytime somebody searches a word that contains those words in it. So that's how you do that. Now in terms of positive keywords, in my opinion, it's not necessary to go through and add all of these. The reason why is because if they're showing up on this list, then they are clearly already working in terms of getting the searches for that keyword. But if you wanna be able to actually see how that specific one performs, then you would wanna add it. So for instance, let's say this one, AA pre-purchase inspection Auckland or AA car survey. These ones are bringing in conversions. However, they're not actually on our list. AA is a brand in the area that they're in. It's another company and people search that company because it's well known. Now, because this is not on the actual keyword list, this search term is coming in through the pre-purchase car inspection keyword. 
However, the problem with that is in the data under keywords, I can't see the difference between which exact search term brought the results. So what I'm going to do is add them as a keyword. As you can see here, I'm going to add it as a phrase. And then that's going to allow me to now compare whether this keyword performs better than the pre-purchase car inspection keyword. And so in that case, if you want to do that, then I would recommend you go through and add all the relevant ones. But I wouldn't necessarily go through this list and add every single one of them because it's a huge list and most of them barely get any impressions anyway. So they'll just come through the ones where the other keywords actually pick them up. But if you want to add any specifics to get more impressions, for instance, like this one could theoretically be added, then you can do that as well. So that's really it in terms of what you need to know about search terms. This is what I've shown you in this video is really all the practical steps that you need for almost every ad account that there is. Like you don't need to make this too complicated. It's a very simple process. You just open up the search terms, you go through, you see if there's any keywords that are not related to what you're offering, add them to the negative keyword list, add any of the positive keywords that you actually want in the list, you can add them as well and just filter through. And over time, what's gonna happen after months and potentially years of doing this, you're gonna minimize the amount of unrelated search terms that your ads actually get shown for because you've included all of these negative keywords which filter them out. So that's how you do this process. I hope you liked this video. If you wanna see any more about Google Ads, make sure to watch my other videos. I've got a whole course on Google Ads. If you want our help, with running your Google Ads account. There's a link in the description below to book a call with us where we will show you how we will get you guaranteed results for your Google Ads. So just book a time with us and we'll have a call and see what we can do for you and what kind of results we can guarantee. So I hope you enjoyed that one. I'll catch you on the next one.